Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel it for you Today we will discuss how to download, install, get sign up and create or schedule a Zoom meeting. For this you first need to the Chrome and search for Zoom download. As you can already see on the screen I have already searched for it. Now click on the very first link. As I have already opened it in another tab. As you can see this is an official website of Zoom. Look for the download button, and simply download Zoom meeting application. I have already downloaded Zoom application into my PC. Now go to your download folder. Double click on the setup file Zoom meeting, and start installing it. Here is some security pop-up appears. I will click run button. So, the setup file initiate to install Zoom meeting. Let's wait until complete the installation process. So, as we can see Zoom meeting is installed now. Now, I am gonna launch Zoom meeting application. So, here you can see Zoom meeting is launched, and it is asking keep automatically update. I will keep the setting to auto update. So, now here we first try to sign in with a Google account. Let's see what will happen. No, it's not accepting my email credentials, that means I firstly have to sign up in the Zoom web application. So, now I'll go to the web application of Zoom. And look for the sign up option. Click on sign up button. Here it is asking for verify the age. I am entering the year randomly. Now enter your email address from which you need to create an account on Zoom. Click on continue button. Now it will send a verification code on your email address. Type that code here. Now, enter the first name, last name, password, and confirm password here. In the password tab, it's showing some instruction about to create a password. Password must be minimum of 8 characters. Must contain one letter. Must contain a numeric letter. And must have upper and lower case. This will make your password strength very strong. Looks like it is not accepting a simple password. I need to follow all the instruction to set the password. Trying some strong and different password. Yeah. Now it accepted the password. So, now your profile has been created on Zoom meeting with your email address. Now let's move towards the Zoom application. Now, try to log in with that email address. And password should be the one which you have created at the Zoom We application while we are signing up. So, now as you can see Zoom allowed us to log in from my ID. So, here we can see some options, like, new meeting, 
join meeting, schedule, and share screen. So, now I will tell you how to schedule a Zoom meeting. Look for the meeting tab at the top of the Zoom interface and click on plus button to create a Zoom meeting or You can also simply click on a schedule button. Both the ways are fine. We are going with the schedule button. Now here we have an interface of where the meeting details are required. Firstly, the topic of the meeting. You can write the topic here whatever is your meeting about. I am giving the name of topic demo as we are creating a sample meeting. Now, set the start date and time according to your time zone. Now second option is duration. As we do not have a licensed account of the Zoom, it won't let us to create a meeting more than 40 minutes. So, as for the testing purpose we can create a meeting of 30 minutes instead. Now, move towards the recurring meeting. What is the recurring meeting meant? Zoom allows you to schedule meetings with multiple occurrences so that each occurrence uses the same meeting ID and settings. You can schedule these meetings in daily, weekly, and monthly increments. You can also set a recurring meeting to be used at any time. So, we don't have to need the same meeting details for all meetings, I am not going to check it. Next option is meeting ID and it is already selected the default option generate automatically. So we'll be going with the same option because I am not going to share my personal Zoom ID with anyone. Now next, it's showing a password of the meeting. You can also give your own password. My password of this meeting will be demo. Now the next option is waiting room. This option is mostly used when you are conducting the interviews. So, if, there is no waiting room for such meetings then participant directly entered to your ongoing conversation. Now the next option is for video. If you are allowing video calling in your meeting, so, you need to check on for this. Here is the option for both host and participant. You can allow or disallow according to your requirement. Now the next option is calendar. If you are using Outlook, so this meeting will automatically added to your Outlook calendar. And if you're not using Outlook then you can go for the Google Calendar or other calendar if you are using so. Here I am going with the Google Calendar. So now we'll move towards the next step which advanced options. Here we can see four more options. The first one is to allow participants to join anytime, second is mute participants upon entry, the third one is automatically record meeting on the local computer, and the fourth one is approve or block entry for users from specific countries or regions. So, you can check the check boxes according to your requirements. Here in my scenario I have not such requirements of this check boxes. So, I am gonna click on the save button. Now your Zoom meeting has been scheduled. To check what you have created you can simply go to the meeting tab showing on top of the Zoom application. Here you can see the details of the meeting I have created. You can simply click on copy invitation button and paste it anywhere you want to send the Zoom meeting invite. Or you can also click on show meeting invitation to see the meeting details and also can copy the invitation from here. And in any such requirement you wanted to change any meeting detail or want to reschedule time and date you can simply click to edit button and can change according to your requirement and click on save button. Thanks for watching. Hope you liked the video. For more related videos comment us on comment box and must subscribe the page. Have a nice day.